Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEVS home school I am Wahid Noor assistant teacher of Islamic studies national ideal English version school day shift today I am going to take the class of Islamic studies of class 5 today our topic is Salat and we will discuss from chapter 2. Dear students, you know Salat is very much important in our life. In the Holy Quran, Almighty Allah more than 80 times said for performing the Salat. So you can understand how important is it. So first of all, we need to know what is Salat. I mean what is the definition of Salat. Dear students, look. There is the meaning of Salat, to bend down, seeking forgiveness, saying Durud, etc. This is the word meaning of Salat. And then I included here the definition of Salat. In Islamic terminology, performing prayers with Ahkam and Arkan is called Salat. Now I will discuss about some species of Almighty Allah and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about Salat what they said about the Salat in the Holy Quran and the Holy Hadith. First of all, I mentioned three ayats from the Holy Quran about the Salat. First one is Aqim is Salat, then As Salatu Imaduddin, and then As Salatu Miftahul Jannah. Dear students, if you don't add any of the harkots in Arabic, there is no problem. And then number four, I mentioned the meaning of one ayat from the Surah Nisa, Allah said, surely establish Salat in appropriate time is compulsory for all believers. And then number five, I included there from the Holy Hadith, Prophet Sallallahu question was asked to Prophet Sallallahu which one is best deeds in our life? Then Rasul Sallallahu replied, performing Salat in time. And that's mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim. And lastly, I include, included Rasul Sallallahu said, you would perform Salat as you have seen me doing it. Dear students, if you memorize all this, then if you write in your copy, that will be better. And third number, I discuss about the Fuzilat of, uh, of Salat if you perform with congregation. And there are five fuzilat. Number one is deficiency of his livelihood will be removed. It means there will not be any lackings of foods. And then number two, suffering in the grave will be excused. I mean, they will not face any punishment in the grave. And then number three, Amul Lama will be given to the right hand. Number four, cross the full sirat in electric speed. And then number five, Jannat will be given without any accountability. It means they will not be face the judgment in the Hashur. Without any accountability, they will get to the Jannat. Dear students, now I will discuss about the teaching of Salat with congregation. If you perform the Salat with congregation, what you will teach? I mentioned there are five teaching. But in your book, there are more. So number one is, bring better soap as against offering Salat alone. Remember, if you perform the Salat alone at home or anywhere, then you will get, for example, 1% of soap. But if you perform the Salat with congregation, then you will get 27% of soap. That's why I will say to you, perform the Salat with congregation. Okay, then. Number two, can get opportunity to meet others five times a day, can get information from each other's brotherhood and unity is created, and last number, can help each other in joys and sorrows. Dear students, if you perform the Salat with congregation by going to the mosque, then every day five times you can meet with your friends, with your relatives, with your neighbors, or anyone's. So you can take the information of others, you can help to others, you can share their sorrows and joys. Now we will discuss 
about the time schedule of salat five times schedule number one is fajr when the fajr time will be start that will be start beginning of subh sadeq and ends uh, on the moments of sunrise and then number two johar salat it will be starts when the sun bends on the western sky and remains till the shadow of any stick becomes double without its original shadow dear students remember that is called saya asli if you check your book you can get the definition of this saya asli and when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's time wasn't any watch available at that time this this time schedule was followed that's why in our book mentioned this number 3 asr it starts at the end of the zuhur timing and remain before the color of the sun becomes yellow so you have to perform before the sun becomes yellow the asr prayer and now phone number maghrib it's, it's a, it starts after sunset and ends when the red glow of the western sky disappears dear students remember if you check the western sky there will be red glow but when you will see there is no red glow available then it means you can understand maghrib of maghrib time is not there and then number 5 isha it starts when the maghrib prayers time ends and remain till subh sadeq remember you can the isha prayer up to the subh sadeq but you have to perform this is better for performing the isha prayer before midnight so if you perform after midnight that also can but that will be makruh okay now we will discuss prohibited time for salat which times you cannot perform the salat what is the forbidden times and rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in the holy hadith three times we cannot perform the salat number one is just at the time of sunrise just at the midday and number three during the sunset we cannot perform these three times any of the prayers now i will discuss important information that is ahkam and arkan of the salat most of the exam you may get this question write two or three ahkam or write two or three arkans of salat so you have to memorize, memorize this and there are seven ahkam and there are seven arkans and now wajib of salat dear students in your book there are 14 wajib of salat all are important all are you have to memorize but i mentioned there are eight wajib of salat if you memorize this eight wajib of salat then inshallah you can write in your exam number one is recitation of surah fatiha then recitation of another surah then to maintain consecutiveness remember to maintain consecutiveness means you have to perform all steps of the salat one by one slowly and gradually you have to maintain the siya number 4 standing up straight after ruku and number 5 sitting straight between two sajda number 6 reciting tashahud number 7 reciting dua kunut and last number to say additional six takbir in salat of two eats dear students now i will discuss the total rakats of five times salat every day we are performing five times salat but but we are not counting how many rakats we are performing so according to your book i have shown you like this so number one name of salats then sunnat e muakkada before farz salat and then i mentioned farz salat then sunnat e muakkada after farz salat and last wajib of salat so number one fajr we perform two rakat sunnat e muakkada then two rakat farz then zuhur at first four rakat sunnat e muakkada then four rakat farz then two rakat sunnat e muakkada like this all are included here but dear students remember in your book there is no total rakats of salat but i have shown you total rakat sunnat e muakkada before farz is six rakat total farz 17 rakats and total sunnat e muakkada after farz that's also six rakats and three rakats also better so total is 32 rakats we are performing in a day five times 
So remember this counting. And lastly, I mentioned that sahus is the it's also included in the salat. So what is sahu? Sahu means mistake. So if any person's wajib is missed or dropped unwillingly, remember it's unwillingly. If you drop any of the wajib of salat willingly, your namaz, your salat will not be correct. You have to perform again. But any of the wajib of salat you drop unwillingly, then you have to perform you have to perform two shizda for correcting your salat and that is called sahu shizda. But how we will perform the sahu shizda? I mentioned there we shall recite tashahud at the last rakat and then we shall perform two shizda by saying salam to the right side. Only we will say assalamu alaikum like this then we will perform two shizda. And then again we will perform, we will recite the Tashahud, Durud Sharif, Dua Masura, and lastly, we will say again Salam to the right side and to the left side, and we will conclude the Salah. So, dear students, I hope you understood all our topics, what I discussed. Keep practicing at home, obey your parents, stay safe. See you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.